beautiful smile. Love clothes. Sneakers was her favorite thing of all time. <laughs> More sneakers. 71-year-old <laughs> Grace Smith says she is filled with happy memories of her granddaughter, 16-year-old Trinity Rogers, whom she raised like her own daughter since the age of three. She was a fun, silly kid. But Smith, accompanied by her sister, Florence Sparks, says Monday morning, her whole world came crashing down when the unthinkable happened. And I know I didn't see it. Everybody's saying they didn't see anything to indicate that she would commit suicide. Smith says she had heard her granddaughter talking on the phone in her room Sunday night, but didn't think anything was wrong until she went to get her up for school Monday morning. And when I opened the door, that I saw her hanging from the ceiling fan. She thought her only way out was to take her own life. <laughs> Looking from the outside, you might easily think this lovely young woman had the whole world at her feet. Beautiful, smart, loved. Yes. So what happened? I don't know. But Smith says when you're 16 and don't have the context of time and experience to measure your pain against, the tiniest of things can seem like insurmountable obstacles. She suspects her granddaughter was having boy trouble. Got caught up in just teenage love stuff and couldn't see her way past it. It's broken my heart. My heart will always be broken. The family says while there is nothing they can do to bring Trinity back, they can build awareness and maybe even save lives by sharing their story of immeasurable heartache. I don't want another devastation, another mother to go through what I'm going through because of what's happened to Trinity. In Bridgeport, Frank Reckia, News 12, Connecticut.